Welcome to another episode of Joyful Adventure Audits. This week we're taking a bittersweet look at the sudden closure of a Birmingham institution, the historic Barton's Arms Pub. Built in 1901, the Barton's Arms was a stunning Victorian-era pub known for its elaborate tiling, stained glass, and Dutch gables. It had been serving the Aston community for over 120 years. But with great sadness, the current leaseholder closed its doors for good last week, no longer able to afford the rising costs. This pub held a wealth of history within its walls. Funnily enough, it was connected to one of America's most beloved comedy duos, Laurel and Hardy. When they came to perform at the Aston Hippodrome in 1954, Stan Laurel and Oliver Hardy stayed next door at the Barton's Arms. There's even a brilliant photograph of them gleefully serving beer behind the bar. Legends like Charlie Chaplin, Marie Lloyd and Ozzy Osbourne also frequented the Barton's Arms back in the day. It makes you wonder what other stories those antique snob screens and billiards rooms upstairs could tell. But now this cultural landmark and community fixture has gone silent. Locals are distraught at the loss of this almost 120-year-old pub. It's become yet another sad statistic in the decline of British pub culture. Over the last 20 years, pubs across the UK have been shutting their doors at an alarming rate about 12,000 since 2000. From the pandemic acceleration to rising costs and changing consumer habits, our pubs face an array of threats. Each closure chips away at the heritage of our villages, neighborhoods, and cities. The Barton's Arms is no longer around to welcome fans to relive Laurel and Hardy's misadventures over a pint. No longer around to echo with the chatter of regulars who've been visiting for generations. It leaves a real hole in the fabric of Aston. So let's raise a glass to the Barton's Arms and the history it represents. If you have a local you enjoy, pay them a visit this weekend. For once these community spaces are gone, they cannot be replaced. We must savor those still running while we can.
And so we bid a sad farewell to the Barton's Arms, the latest pub forcing to shut its doors, but surely not the last. If you have any memories, stories, or photos to share of the Barton's Arms or other lost Birmingham pubs, please leave them in the comments. We love spotlighting the rich histories of these community fixtures. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for free to catch all our videos on lost pubs and other cultural heritage in Birmingham. We have an entire playlist documenting vanished pubs and the structural issues forcing closures across the UK from rising costs to changing consumer habits and development pressures. It's bleak but important viewing. The decline of the British pub is about more than just buildings and businesses closing. It represents deeper cultural loss and fraying connections to history. Places like the 1901 Barton's Arms evoke generations of memories, famous faces from Chaplin to Aussie and anchor neighborhood identity. As more vanish yearly, we chip away at the heritage that makes our communities special. So let's not take our remaining local pubs for granted. Pay them a visit, say hello to the regulars and soak up the atmosphere. These spaces foster connections and continuity in changing times. If we want to preserve the spirit of Birmingham and districts like Aston, we must celebrate and support our pubs. Thank you for watching this documentation of the Barton's Arms' sudden ending. But rather than mourn this loss, let it inspire action. Seek out the history in your area before it's too late. And join us next time as we continue chronicling Birmingham's vanishing heritage and those working to save it. Cheers for now.